here, fight week, Devin Haney, Vasil Lomachenko. Let's get it. We in the stew. <laughs> we in the studio tonight. What's popping? Tune in, tap in, like, subscribe, share. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Fill it up, man. Send this thing around the world, man. Tell them to come on and come see me, man. Let's get it. What's going on? Shine. Talk to me. Make it make sense for me. We here, man. Fight week. Get him up out of there, crack. Get him out of there. We here, y'all. Let's talk about it. How y'all feel about it? How y'all feel about fight week with Devin Haney and Lomachenko? I think it's going to be a great fight in my eyes, to be honest. Great fucking fight. I think it's going to be a legendary fight. They might have to do it two or three times. We working, EK. I appreciate that, bro. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Bring the questions. Don't be nervous. I try my best to read all the comments. I try my best. To answer all the questions, get with me. Bob Aaron might pull some bullshit. I mean, it's possible, especially with this week we just seen in boxing. Oh, my God. Ruski, appreciate that. A late stoppage for Haney? How come? Let me know why. I mean, it's possible this boxing. We talking about men punching each other in the head. So it can definitely happen. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Pay-per-view numbers, I think, going to be better than what people think. It's, it's an intriguing fight. Um, I can't speak exactly on what they'll do, but I think it's going to be good numbers. I ain't going to fraud. I think it's going to be good numbers. This is a great fight we're talking about. Silly Lomachenko is a hell of a talent. So is Devin Haney. The only thing that concerns me about this fight is the 11 year age difference. Lomachenko getting up there, baby. If it was me, I wouldn't bet on either one of them. I would just tune in. I, I stopped betting on fights, man. Dudes be, it be some weird shit happening in boxing. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? But we here, ladies and gentlemen. We got 10 people tuned in. Four likes. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far for the first, the first three minutes. <laughs> The first three minutes of the live and we getting it popping. What's going on? Talk to me. I see Lomachenko piece of Haney up <laughs> time, but he needs to start early. He, I feel like he definitely got to start early for sure. He got to try to get as many rounds in as he can as possible. For real, for real. This is a real boxing fans fight. I honestly can't call it, but can't wait to watch it. That's how I feel. I feel the same way. It's just a great matchup. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a matchup. I can't, I can't say I've seen coming. Um... Before it was announced, but after it was announced, I can understand why. And I like the fight. I do think Loma will test Dev in ways he haven't. Yeah, I, that's also something I believe, especially coming from the Southpaw stance. Got to be careful. You know what I mean? I think Haney too big. I think Haney too big for him. That might be true. Thoughts on Haney saying Lomo is a dirty boxer. Agree, disagree. I don't, I don't think, I don't think Lomachenko is a dirty fighter. I think. Yeah, it's one thing they tell you in the back, and it's one thing we all heard before is protect yourself at all times. Loma Chico is just a man who who will take a chance if he find a chance. So basically what I'm saying is if he see where he can get over, he's going to try to get over. And I, I mean, I don't see that as being dirty. It's not like he out here low-blowing guys, you know what I mean, hitting them behind the head all the time. You know what I mean? Shots do happen like that because guys turn their head and sometimes it just happens. It's an accident, you know what I mean? But it's a fight. We saw Bob. We saw how Bob Aram did Wilder with the Fury fights. Every fight was controversial, and mind you, this is Devin' last fight under top rank. Bob Aram wants his control. That's true, but I also believe it's something in the contract that he has with top rank. If he wins, he might have to sign for like two more fights. But we'll see. I think because Lomo is Southpaw, Lomo gonna try his best with, with angles and trying to turn Haney. But I think Dev going to be setting up his left uppercut. Like to throw when Lomo try to turn. That sounds smart. Sound like a smart decision. And I just seen Devin fighting more 
And I just see Devin fighting more in the inside and stepping to him. I think that's possible too, especially from what I've been seeing from him in the camps. He been he been looking like he really trying to hurt something. Lomo going rock Dev, but I got Dev winning. Who you give the coaching advantage to? The coaching advantage, I mean, got to be honest, Devin got like a three-man team. Uh, Lomo got his pop. His pop is a great coach. You know what I mean? I think it's pretty even, to be honest. Pop wants those belts under the top rank. That's true. Appreciate that. Trash Talk Gaming. 15 was popping. I'll mean, I be trying to go as live as, as much as I can, but, you know what I mean? I don't always get to jump on here, but I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in the studio getting it popping. Talk to me. What up, GD Young? Oh, yeah, appreciate you. Dev washes him easy. And my man Eric Harris said Devin Haney washes Lomachenko easy. I don't think it's going to be easy. I think it's going to be a great fight. I think I think Devin will take the fight, though, at the end of the in in the last four rounds, I think Devin gonna take it. The boxing voice is better. We'll go over there then. <laughs> I think Devin will take the Jermaine Ortiz route and stay outside. Ortiz beat Lomo. That was a great fight though. I think I I, I think Ortiz came close to beating Lomachenko, but I also think what happened was he got a little a little too in his head at times, and he was trying to pick his shots. You know what I mean? He was fighting, but he wasn't stepping on the gas. No, it ain't going to be easy. Lomo has a chance. A great chance. That's what I think. I think Lomo got a great chance. I just want I just think he got to be strong the last four rounds. He got to be strong the last four rounds. Sapa say, coach. Uh-oh. Got my Haitians in the house. This is a 50-50 fight. I think Dev by a majority decision or Lomo by KO late. Tell them stop that with Wilder, boy. Boy got beat twice, cuz. Hey, I'm a I'm a Wilder fan and I'm also a Tyson Fury fan. I've I I keep telling people the more you know and the more you can show, the more you'll become a great fighter. Fury is a fighter with a lot of tools. And Wilder just wasn't ready in my eyes. He just wasn't ready. Say it ends in KO. Who's more likely to get it? I think it's 50 50 when we talk like that. You know what I'm saying? It's 50 50 when we talk like that. Either one of them could hurt the other one. You know what I mean? This is this is boxing. Anybody can get hurt. How you feeling about Bozy Ennis and Andy Cruz link up? I think he can help Andy Cruz. I think he's going to be good for Andy Cruz, especially transitioning to a pro. The only thing that concerned me about Andy Cruz is going from the three round pace to, to them talking about his first fight going to be a 10 rounder. I wonder if they're going to do the jab counts again. That we're going to have to show show some dog. That's real shit. Lomo going to take away Devin jab in the clinch. Lomo going to eat Devin. Got skills to win, but IQ, I don't know. That's a good observation. Can he think with Lomachenko? Call my boy live, GHB. What's up? Boxing the dog pound. Boxing by the dog pound. What's up? No, boxing by the pound. I'm tripping. I'm on some hot shit. My bad, y'all. Boxing by the pound was popping. He showed that bad paperwork. Man got to do what a man got to do. You know what I mean? I don't want to go deep into it. I'm going to be real with y'all. You know what I mean? I don't want, I don't want to cause no, no bad karma on myself, but you know what I mean? Man got to do what a man got to do. I ain't with the, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to keep playing tennis. That ain't the sport I'm in. Homo will definitely be catching Devin in between the clinch. I think he have to. He got to make it a rough fight. Hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. My my folks, my folks, Miles Austin is asking for y'all to hit the like button. Please hit the like button, please. Thank you. He going to hurt Devin in between the clinches. It could possibly happen for sure. Eric Harris, Eric Harris says, 11 to 1, Dev is a boxer. B-O-X-E-R, boxer. <laughs> you think Devin Chen a little suspect? I think, I'm, I'm being so real with y'all right now. I think if any man get hit right, shit, any man could get hurt. But I seen Dev get hurt and I seen him survive, so I can't really say it. Chen suspect, I think he just got hit with a great shot. 
great fight, but I got handy with a decision. I think Loma will put on a good performance and surprise a lot of people. I, I feel like that too. You already did what you had to them boys over there. Let them stay. Real shit. So is Lomo. He never responded. That kind of hurt me as a fan. Nah, he wasn't. You know what I mean? I pulled the shovel out. Devin couldn't even out jab Jojo Diaz. I see Lomo doing his work after six. Mmm, good observation. Who's a big name fighter you would like to train? <sighs> big name fighter I would like to train. I don't know these dudes be on some shit, man. I don't know. Whoever whoever humble man willing to work and willing to listen to the breakdown I got for him, you know what I'm saying? We could work. If they rob Haney, hell gonna break all hell gonna break loose. Yeah, that's true. The gorilla chef was popping, Zay. Folks in here. Hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Please, ladies and gentlemen. There's 50 people in here. Go crazy on the like button. They said the likes make this joint go up. So I'm still learning what YouTube is. I mean, I've been watching YouTube for a long time, but I never understood the algorithms. And now I'm getting into that. Into that. So, you know what I mean? Smack on the like button for me. Lomo going to try to pressure Devin. I see it. Hold on. I see it getting a little ugly. I think he do got to make it an ugly fight if he want to win. Damn, y'all think Lomo's sweet in the chat. <laughs> if it go 12, my Malik Davis says, if it go 12, I feel like, however, if it go, what? I feel like, however, it go, they going to give it to Lomo for one, politically, and two, they know if he lose, this fight is the end for him. Mmm, that's deep. That's deep. Could be the end if he lose to Devin Haney. That's why I said Devin Haney got to win convincingly. Lomachenko is tricky and he going to bring the tricks. Do you think there's a trainer that can bring the dog out of Ryan Garcia? He has a lot of amateur success, success and has been boxing for a long time. Secondly, would you be up for the project with Ryan? I would, but I heard Ryan don't like to listen. Because I feel like a god with Ryan makeup, if he listen to me, man, oh man, we could cause trouble. You know what I mean? But he'd have to listen. No, uh, Lomo ain't sweet. I think Devin hinted at staying with top rank so they would give him the nod if it goes to the cards. I think that would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> or beat the shit out Loma Chingo, one or the other. On both sides, everybody got set excuses already. Gotta love boxing fans, yeah. Could you make Joshua better? I believe I could, but you know I mean like I said, it, it, it would have to be more so him being open to the information. I feel like Lomo, round one through six versus T.O. might show up. Mmm. You talking about that, that, that stagnant Lomo. I'm going to put some fat stacks on this fight. <laughs> E.K. No, Ryan getting too much money to listen. That's See, that, that's what I'm saying. That'd be my thing. Keyshawn Wise Cruz right now. Talk to him nice, champ. He's showing it Cruz right now. I can't. I, it's crazy that they even talk about that fight because Cruz ain't turned pro yet. And it's going to be hard to talk about him until I get to see him. And the reason being, Robisi, remember Robisi beat uh, Shakur in the amateurs in the, in the Olympic championships and won the gold medal, but then turned pro and lost. And I was actually there when he lost. It was crazy. Win or lose, do you think 140 is the next for Haney? Yeah, I think Haney definitely going to 140 after this. No, Devin don't have enough power to put Lomo on his bike. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. Any man in an 8-ounce pair of gloves can punch. 8-ounce pair of gloves ain't that big, bro, with a nice rap. Trust me. Motherfucker respect you. You got to make them. Lomo face and footwork may give Haney problems. I think so. 135 Floyd versus Shakur. I think 135 Floyd versus Shakur Stevenson will win on, on the cards because I think Floyd at 35 was a little too active for Shakur. Smart fighter. Super smart fighter. Even though they both smart fighters, I think Floyd was just more active. I think the activity would have got to Shakur. Peace and blessings, G. When we seeing Jabril back in the ring. Bro, gonna be back in the ring 
June 24th. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 2300 Arena. Let's get it. What's popping, man? Talk to me. Damn, I done drunk all my water. Thought I had some more water in there. This could be a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. Great fight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I think Lomo gonna have to make it make it a hard fight. I think he's gonna have to make it an ugly fight, to be honest. Cause we know Dev like to stay sharp all night. So that's just what it is. Shakur and Devin just defensive responsible. If they sit down and punches, they knocking you out. Y'all crazy. My man Malcolm said y'all crazy, bro. Any man can hurt you. That's my true belief. That's my true belief. Any man can hurt you, bro. Any man can hurt you. Especially with them low-ass gloves on. Any man can hurt you. Floyd was magic at 135. Unbelievable. What's up with Tamir? I think he fighting. I think he fighting uh, on the 27th for this month. What division do you think most competitive in terms of skill pool? Of fighters, I think 35 and 40 is the, the most competitive right now. Have you heard anything from since you made your response? No. No responses. I wasn't looking for no response. Actually, I did get a response, but I ain't going to speak about it. It was positive, though. I'm, I will say that. It was a positive response. I did get a response, but it was positive. So I left it at that. I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't going to dig into it no more, to be honest. What's your prediction if they line Ryan and Roley up next? I think... And do you think it's a good pay-per-view? I don't think it's a pay-per-view fight at all. I'm going to say that right now. I definitely don't think it's a pay-per-view fight. But I think Ryan will beat Roley if they fought. If they fought, I think Ryan will beat Roley. That's on some real shit. That's on everything I love. AKA, they don't want no smoke. Something like that. G, you're the best with the breakdowns. Would you ever do ringside announcing? Yeah, I actually done some ringside jobs, local jobs. Uh, I did about probably like five or six of them, you know what I mean, in my time. My first, the first time I did a uh, ringside joint was 2016. I think it was 2016. Do you know Boots' opponent in June? Not just yet. I think myself, though, I think it's going to be Romain Villa. I think that's who we're going to fight next. That's just what I think. That ain't what I know. That's what I think. So I don't want nobody to quote me on that. Promoter hat on, G. Would you rather Devin and Shakur battle it out to see who gets Tank or Tank and Devin is a must and Shakur gets the winner? <sighs> I'm going to keep it real. If I was a promoter and it was me, I would go Shakur and Devin first and then the winner get Tank. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Because, because, ah, man. I don't know, man. Any of them dudes can fight. I'm, I'm, I'm tuning in. I don't care. I'll put my last on them fights. I ain't going to lie. If I see any of them dudes lined up, I'm putting my last on that shit. I don't care. Only way I don't put my last on is if I got to get something to eat first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boost need to go to the top rank on match when PBC got him fighting on semi-retired schedule. I, 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 I think what it is is his contract is with Showtime, so I think more so Showtime... I mean, put any more on, but I think Boots going to fight two more times before the year out. How much knockouts did you have in your boxing career? I had no knockouts as a pro. I heard of, I heard a bunch of motherfuckers. I heard them with some shots, but I ain't never had no knockouts. My whole career, I'm going to be honest, bro. I was smoking weed. I was drinking. I was having sex. I was just doing all the wrong things. I was living like a rock star, bro. I was just doing what I wanted to do. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And fighting at the wrong weight class. And taking fights on short notice. In my life, I think I had one fight where I had a camp. The, the, most of my fights were short notice. Two week notice, a week notice. I took a fight on a day. You know what I mean? One time I fought in D.C. And on a day's notice. I fought, you know what I mean? Two days notice, three days notice. Who should take fight coming straight off the box? Straight, straight off the box. Ooh, who should take fight? I don't know. I think I think Tank gonna get the Isaac Cruz rematch. To be real, yeah, I definitely. I I shouldn't have been at one forty. I mean one thirty five. I should have been at like one forty. One thirty five was too small. I would have never made one thirty five. I would have killed myself trying to make thirty five. But I I could have made forty. 
Shakur, he free. She free. I could have made 40, though. If I a discipline, a discipline Greg Haggy, I would have made 40. What's the best way to get conditioned to last in boxing? Is to treat your body right. To be honest, that's the best way I can tell you, man. Treat your body right. No drinking, no drugs. You know what I'm saying? Living healthy, eating the right foods, not being up late at night. You know what I mean? Even though sometimes you can't help it, but try your best not to be up late at night. Get your miles in. Keep your body at a good weight. Like if you fight at 140, don't let your body go over 55, 60. I'm going to say no higher than 60. 20 pounds is even a lot, but don't let your body go over 160 if you're fighting at 140. If you're fighting at 47, try not to go over 65. You know what I mean? If you're fighting at 54, try not to go higher than 70. You know what I'm saying? Don't get too big. I think nowadays a lot of guys get too big in between fights. What's up, G? Just tapping in, so not sure if this has been discussed. But do you think the rumored pairing of Derek James and Ryan will be a good fit? Love the content. Honestly, I don't know. I would I would have to see if if Ryan is receptive to the information he would be getting from Derek James. I think Derek James is a great coach. And I think he'd be good for anybody as long as you listen. As long as you listen. Because if you look at Frank Martin, Frank Martin really got a different style from um, Earl Spence. But he's doing a great job with Frank Martin. He's doing a great job with Frank Martin. Who you got in boxing, G? What's your autobiography? Who got you into boxing? Or who got me into boxing? All right, so to be honest, when I was five years old, when I was about four or five years old, my dad used to box. My dad fought amateur. Um, that was my first experiences with the gym. Um when I when I when I was about 12, going on 13, my mom was like, yo, my mom was like, bro, you getting in trouble. You fighting every week. You know what I mean? You need to go to the gym. You need to get in the boxing gym. She was like, I wish I wish your dad would have kept you in that shit. And I, I walked around the corner. I found a gym. And you know what I mean? I've been in the gym since I was like 13. Since I was like 12, 13, 12 going on 13. That's that summer that summer, I turned 13 when I started boxing. It's Ryan. It's Ryan. He lazy and spoiled. Don't matter the coach. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. What's the quickest way to lose 25 pounds? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, slow down on the, on the, on the red meat. Um, and run. You know what I mean? That's how I not get that weight, that weight down. Run. Peace, bro. One of the most educational dudes in boxing. I appreciate that. I mean, when you're a fighter, you got to eat, though. You got to eat. You don't have to eat heavy. You got to get nice little portions. You know what I mean? Small portions. You don't got to... He don't got to have little baby portions, but you can't eat too much. You can't be loading up on shit. You know what I mean? But eat. But, you know what I mean? Get your miles in and work hard in that gym. And make sure you do your college legs every day. You see, nowadays, strength and conditioning is a thing where they separating from training and they like, yo... Uh, you got dudes in the gym like oh, I'm gonna do my sit ups at strength condition. I'm gonna... no, you supposed to do your sit ups, push ups, and all that every day. And you're supposed to get busy like that every day. Where you, why, where you getting into fights at school? You seem like you would be cool with everybody. No, that's the problem. I will, I, I got a real, a real bright personality, and some people just ain't like me. You know what I mean? So people would pick on me. Plus, because I was short. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't a big guy. You know what I mean, I was a nice guy, and, and you when you in Philly, man, everybody everybody walking around with a chip on his shoulder. So it's like I was just getting in fights. But the the, the reason I was getting in the fights because I don't like nobody trying to bully me. I'm I'm not the person that you're gonna bully. I ain't that guy. I don't start shit with people, but you're not gonna bully me. You know what I mean? I'm the guy that's gonna finish. And if I can't finish, I'm gonna keep coming back until I finish. So that was why I was getting in the fights. I ain't letting nobody just do anything to me. You know what I mean? From 135 to 147. What's the one matchup you want to see the most in the division? The the, the matchup I want to see most is, it's a few of them. I would love to see Richard Hitchison and um, Tiafimo Lopez. I would love to see uh, Boots and Earl Spence. I would love to see Shakur and Tank. I would love to see Tank and Dev. And I would love to see Lomachenko and Ryan. You know what I mean? Fights like that. Stay hydrated too, for sure. I see Devin beating Tank. 
Tank beating Shakur and Shakur beating Devin Styles make fights. Real shit. That's how it happened back in the day. The old heads. With Ali and all of them, it happened with them. Stay hydrated too. You got any fights coming up? Nah, not myself. My B-Day, June 24th. Shout out to Jabril Noble. Wish him the best on the fight. He know he coming out with the victory. I appreciate that, bro. Tank versus Shakur. Devin not beating Tank. Y'all delusional. Rich versus T.O. Yeah, I, th I think that's a great fight. Shout out big homie Greg in the chat. Appreciate y'all. Antoine Cox, I appreciate that. Frank Martin versus Pitbull. Yeah. Reginald Blunt, salute Greg. I appreciate that, bro. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Attack the like button. I heard, I heard that's how you get your algorithms going. <laughs> Attack the like button for me. Beat that like button the fuck up for me, man. What's up with y'all? I think Devin is moving up in weight. I do too. I feel like he is too. On some real shit. I feel like, I mean, this the bang. And that's why I think he gonna go out with a bang. I mean, he gotta go out ripping. I mean, man, what's up with the boy Lopez Sr.? He just be saying anything in the interview, straight hating. Yeah, I mean, he's just a crazy old head. I don't know. I like Richardson. He's from the towns. Yeah, I like Richardson, too. Richard Hitchison, too. Craig, <laughs> Craig the Fade <Fee> Hatch. <laughs> What's popping? T.O. seemed like he having a mental breakdown. I, I think the same thing. He looked drained in his, in his only Wednesday. Devin versus Josh Teller. Who you got? That's a great fight, too. See, that's what I'm saying. Dev got a lot of, he got a lot of shit in front of him. You know what I mean? So he got to get this win. If he get this win, man, that's going to stamp him something crazy. And then move up to 40. It's a lot of matchups. Devin and Josh Teller, man, is a great fight. But I think, I, I just think Dev is a superior boxer. I don't think he could beat everybody. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying. He going to get over on most guys because he's smart and he's sharp. Do you think Mayweather Sr. will be at the fight? I think he will. That's his young boy. What's good, G? Trap Lord, what's popping with you? Talk to me, cousin. Get your schedule, my boy. You're going to be big. I'm trying to get a schedule, bro. I just got a lot going on in my life. So, I mean, y'all living this shit with me. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get it organized, bro. What's popping? Tony Richardson, what's popping? I'm trying to get this thing organized, though, man. Hit me with the questions, man. Hit me with the questions. Let's get it cracking. We've been on here for 27 minutes. Let's go. We all the way fucking tuned up. I'm about to cut the fan on. It's getting warm in this joint. Let me see. Where the button at? Here we go. Ooh. Let the air hit me a little bit. Once Devin move up and wait, he will have more power. I believe so, too. Molly Ma, I appreciate that, Ma. Everybody that donated to the GHB TV situation, I fucks with that. Everybody that's tuned in, I fucks with y'all. Appreciate y'all. G, what's your thoughts on the possible upcoming bout with Wilder and Usyk? I think Wilder too big for Usyk. I think he too powerful. I don't think nobody can beat Wilder but Fury. Devin can outpoint anyone. That's why no one wants to fight him. He is a tough fight. Greg Teal called out Spence and Boots at 147. What you think about that? I think they both are hurting. I think they both are, both are hurt Teofimo Lopez. Maul versus Andre. Who wins and why? I'm going to be honest. They both. They both. All right. So Jamal been off for a while. Andre ain't looking too good. So that's going to be a great fight. That's a recipe for something beautiful. Are you a betting guy? Not on fights. I've been shooting dice since I was like 13, though. Tank versus Haney, who you got? Tank versus Haney, 50-50 fight to me. But you got to be careful with Tank. Any shot to hurt you. But Devin Haney's sharp as they come, so that's why I'm saying 50-50. Understandable who the best at 135. Earl versus Trinidad, fantasy fight. Earl and Trinidad? I, I ain't going to lie. Trinidad might hurt Earl. It depends on what he could take. Trinidad might hurt Earl, bro. If that fight was able to happen. Who do you believe Tank fights next? Not who you want, but who you think. I think I honestly think it's gonna be um Isaac Cruz too. Off topic a little, G. Thoughts on John Morant. John Morant to me is is uh what's the word I'm looking for? Careless. John Morant is very careless. If he he know he got all eyes on him, he gotta just put these guns down. I don't know why he got like a fetish with guns right now. He in a situation where he don't need to be on that. You know what I mean? So I think he should just chill. But he young, you know what I mean? But 
I don't want him to lose position and then fuck his bread up. You know what I mean? But he got a fetish for these guns right now. I see Devin laying in the right hand all night on Lomo. It's possible. How you see Regis and Tank going? I think Regis and Tank will be a crazy fight. But the only thing, I feel like Regis, he gets tired after seven rounds. I think that's where he'll begin to pay. But I think Tank, I have to do more to, to get him out. It won't just be easy. You think Andy Cruz is going to get fast track like Keyshawn? Yeah, I think he is for sure. It might even be faster than Keyshawn. David Morrell hype or real. As of right now, I like David Morrell, but I got to say he is hype. Because we ain't seen him in with the real thing yet. I got to be real. How you like Haney undercard? I ain't look at the whole undercard. But I do like the Valdez fight. Valdez and my boy Lopez. That's my little cousin for real. Advice for real. Short fighters fighting tall fighters. Short fighters fighting tall fighters. Move your head. Be patient. We can talk about that more. Because I know all about that. What's your take on the fight as far as what you think the rounds will be? As far as wins. I think Devin going to win the first four. I think Lomachenko going... Win majority of the second four, and the last four, I think, will go back to Devin. That's just about easy as I can sum it up. Just watch Tio versus Cambosis. What was your thoughts on the fight real quick? I thought Tio Fimo fought the wrong fight. I thought he fought an angry fight, a disturbed fight. He wasn't really in his right mind, wasn't really trying to box. He was just trying to show who had the biggest balls, and I think that's why he ended up losing to Cambosis. Has Haney, has Haney <clears throat> already proved himself as an A fighter, or does Lomo fight? Or does the Lomo fight and win make it clear? I think this is the big stamp. Lomo definitely earned, I mean, uh, Haney definitely earned his spot. But I think this is the big stamp. If he beat Vasil Lomachenko and beat him convincingly, this is going to be the big stamp. Get back matchup. Danny Garcia versus AB. Both got a tune-up meet in November. What you think? Ooh, AB and Danny Garcia. That's That's a great fight. That's a great fight. I don't know. That's a great fight. I never thought about that fight, to be honest. Nobody can name one law John Morant has broken. He has a gun license. Guns are fine. Yeah, but I, I, and I'm not saying John Morant broke the law. I don't think he broke the law. I'm just saying why. Like, why? Like, why we got to be dancing in videos with guns? Like, what's your thing? I mean, and we know why they hating on John Morant. Let's not act crazy. What's your thoughts on Ryan Garcia choosing to train with Derrick James? I think Derrick James can discipline Ryan Garcia as long as he's willing to listen. If he's willing to listen, he can make something happen. Did you have a chance to see Andy Cruz with, train with Bozy? And if so, what do you think about his style? I haven't seen him in person. i just seen videos. But I like Andy Cruz. I like what he was working on in the video. Policing his punches. Does Devin Haney win versus Lomachenko via Klitsch, Klitschko style jab, grab, repeat, or does Lomo... Get on the inside like he did versus Nakatani. And I don't know because we talking about an older Lomo versus a young man who got great hand speed, great footwork. And, it, and it's just going to be a great fight. That's the only thing I'm predicting is it's going to be a great fight. This is one of them fights I wouldn't bet on. Roly ain't beat, beat O'Head last week. No, he did not. Since Tank for Isaac Cruz, only person tried to fight, fight him, Ben Shakur. You think he the real... Boogeyman 135. Tank Tank is very vicious, man. Very vicious fighter. So, you know what I mean? It, it, like, why would you want to get in there with him if you want your shit? Like, if you want your best shit right now and you having a good time making this money, like, why would you really want to fight Tank? Tank will give you everything you're looking for. Now, I'm not saying fighters should duck fighters, but I'm just saying Tank bringing real work, man. He's not fucking around. Hit the like button. It's free. You heard what my guy said. <laughs> Frank Martin versus Keyshawn, who you got? I'm going to actually do a video on that fight. I'm not going to spoil it, but I think that's a great fight, and I can't wait till they fight. I hope they fight within the next two years. Um, You know, I'm going to drop the video on that this week. If not this week, next week for sure. Do you think Haney's talk too, when they talk too much when it comes to Tank and Shakur? I mean, they both talk greasy, everything. Be like it's all good. I think I think they just trying to build the fights up. That's all. The boy, I appreciate that. Appreciate the donation, bro. Appreciate everybody showing love, man. I appreciate y'all. Show Greg Hackett all respect, bro. Jerron Boots in his fighting again. And if you come to Philly, can we spar? And you give me some pointers. You really stand with boxing, all love. Yeah, let me know. 
All you got to do is hit me up, bro. Hit me up on, on the gram, and we'll tap in. What's next for Lomo if he wins? I think Lomo and Shakur, to be honest. What's the deal? Hall's Boxing, what's up? Hit the like button. Y'all heard the people, man. Hit the like button. I don't think Devin should leave up judges. I trust Bobby. I'm the judges. Real shit. Mur Muratala and Nakatani. Nak Nakatalia, I'm sorry. Is going to be a great joint. Yeah, I think so. Roley and, we and Weeks robbed my OG, man. Yeah, they did my OA dirty. Roley ain't beat the OA. Like, no, he didn't. NBA has a code of conduct. Remember when I said I got Haney eight rounds five? I got Haney rounds five through eight. I'm still standing by that. You talking about for him to stop him? How would Danny versus Mike Garcia play out at 140? Danny and Mike Garcia. Mm. That would have been a rumble. That would have been a toe-to-toe -to -toe fucking rumble. I'll tell you that much right now. Who's better from eye test between Haney and Plant? Do you think Haney would be a 135 version of David? Of David? Same question, man. Huh? Fulton. Haney would be Figueroa. Pure boxer. Con I think, I think, I think the problem with, with Caleb Plant is confidence, to be honest. And that sounds crazy, but every time he get in a tough fight, he fade. And I don't like that. Being sure I mess with the take strategy, occupy the lead hand. What you think, OJ? I mean, it's working for Tank. It all depends on what you bring to the fight. Tank got great power, got great speed. He got great agility. You know what I mean? Good head movement, great feet work. So he making that shit work for him, boxing the guys. Sometimes short guys be like Isaac Cruz. They don't have all of that ability, so they got to go get you. You think Jared Anderson will meet the expectation of becoming the next great American heavyweight? I think Jared Anderson is the next great American heavyweight. I think, but I think they should slow him down. I don't think they should throw him in with the big dogs too early. Are you going to do lives where you're commenting, commenting on the fight while it's on? I have, I have done that before. I'll bring that back for sure. Do you think Shakur beats Lomo more convincingly than Devin? Shakur beats. <sighs> tough to say. Tough to say. Lomo Chico getting old, bro. Tough to say, but Shakur, great fighter. Great fighter, so I can't really say. I I, I got to see what Lomachenko brings to the table Saturday night. Are the Haney's too soft-spoken when it comes to Shakur and Tank? Both of them cats talk to reason and brings them views. Devin and them just keeping it nice. I mean, at the end of the day, if you know what you can do, you ain't always got to talk crazy. I mean, when a sniper is a sniper, he don't got to talk. Ryan should fight Tevin Farmer and then look for a matchup with Roley or AB. That would be crazy. That'd be crazy to see. What does Haney have other than a jab? Says Lomo. Uh, Haney got great skills, man. Haney got great timing. Hit the like button, Tony Richardson says. No, I'm saying is Isaac Cruz the boogeyman. Oh, Isaac Cruz possible. Isaac Cruz nasty, bro. Charles McGee, Shakur doesn't remotely speak that way. You're definitely wrong. Ain't nobody saying his name. G, what you think of Frank Martin versus Isaac Cruz? I think that's a great fight. But Frank Martin can't get too brave in that fight. And Isaac Cruz going to have to give me some good head movement. I think that would be a great fucking fight. Great fight. Can Devin Haney reach the casuals like Tank? Devin Haney can, but Devin Haney got to start putting more of a whooping on these guys. He ain't even got to all the way knock them out. He just got to whoop them. And maybe start whooping these guys real bad. Andy Cruz versus Frank Martin, who will win? I ain't seen Andy Cruz yet. I ain't gonna lie. I can't put Andy Cruz in the mix until I've seen him turn pro. What age you think is too late to start boxing? Whatever age you think is too late. I don't think it's too late to ever start boxing because it's an art. You know what I mean? You wouldn't ask what age is too late to start painting. You know what I mean? Boxing is an art just like painting. Why is Haney's size advantage being... Sold as such a factor when Lomo fought Nakatani. Well, Nakatani and Haney, two different styles, too. I get where you're coming from, though, but you got to remember, this is a guy with that same stature that can box, though. Nakatani more of a fighter. So that's why I think people bringing it up. Not that I not that I think it make a big difference, but when you tall and you can box, it do make it tougher for the smaller guy. Thoughts on 36 hours time difference between weigh-ins. And fight time for Haney versus Lomo will 
Will Team Haney overhydrate and become sluggish? Or will weight advantage be too much? I don't think weight going to really play a big factor in this fight, to be honest. And the bigger and the bigger a guy is, don't always mean good. I mean, and, it, and, and I like what you said about that overhydrating. Sometimes do guys do put on too much weight and they be slower. It's wild. Everybody call him Lomo old when he's younger than Bud and Crawford. No, he, uh, but no, nah, Lomo older, Lomo 35. I think Bud 34, 35. They're like the same age. How do you think Shakur is a great fighter when he hasn't fought anyone yet? Shakur has some good names on his on his uh, resume, but I think he's a great fighter because it's hard It's hard to keep you cool, but it's hard to be that composed in the ring. It's hard to be that pinpoint sharp in the ring, and I just haven't seen that from a lot of fighters. That's why I think he's a great fighter. I think he's a great fighter because he's very composed. I think Haney outboxes them all. Cruz is a beast on the low. Cruz is a beast. Do you see Keyshawn and Cruz getting together? I think that fight will happen in some time. Cruz is dangerous for a lot of boxers. Isaac Cruz ain't no boogeyman. I like Isaac Cruz, bro. Isaac Cruz is a beast. It's different normal style. Doesn't age well. And Buzz fighting it's natural weight. Cruz won't fight anyone but Tank. Andy Cruz and Keyshawn, do you see them fighting? I think they'll fight in a couple years. Cruz just want that bread. Do you think... We get Crawford slash Spence this year. I think so. I, I think that fight is going to happen. I think we close to that fight, to be honest. Shakur's skill set is elite. That's exactly what I was saying. Gee, am I crazy to think this is a 50-50 fight? I've been getting the flag all week about it. I think it's a 50-50 fight. I wouldn't call you crazy, bro. This is a high-level chess match. How you feel about some of the buddy-buddy situations in combat sports? For example, guys that want to fight friends, Shakur and Keyshawn. Or fellow countrymen. Well, for them, they've been friends for a long time. I don't know their situation, but I have I have known that they I do know that they are they have been friends for a long time. Me myself though, I will fight my own brother. So, I, 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 it's tough to see, but I'm not a fan of that. I can say that I'm not a fan of the buddy buddy situation. But me, I'll fight my own brother. Cruz will stop Frank Martin. Martin don't got enough firepower. Ooh. Could, could it be true? Could that be true? The world may never know. We got to wait and see. Subscribe. I like your analysis. I appreciate that. Davis would smack up Andy. Give them 12 rounds and Keyshawn stops him before the final bell. Woo! See, what I seen from Andy Cruz and Keyshawn when they did fight, what Keyshawn didn't like about Andy Cruz was the footwork. He ain't like all that movement. So if that can transition to the pros, well, we got something great on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. What happened to the young heavyweight from Philly that lost the coffee? I talked to him like a month ago. He said he he said he coming back. Talking about Darmani Rock. Need that train trainee eye for a sec. Just skill set, no accolades. Give me your top five skill boxers. Not talent, but skills. Let me see what you come up with, G. So if you're saying just skills, we talking about Andre Ward. We talking about Bernard Hopkins. We talking about... We talking about James Tony. We talking about Shakur Stevenson, Floyd Mayweather. How you like that list? Andre Ward, Bernard Hopkins, James Tony, Floyd Mayweather, Shakur Stevenson. Thurman and Spence, I still think it's a great fight. I just hate that they waiting so much, so much time to get these guys in the ring. Frank Martin is like a touch of Lomo with some power. I like that observation. I like Frank Martin. I like his I like his skill set, but I like his mean streak. Frank Martin will go get you. Frank Martin will go get you. Please hit that like button for me, ladies and gentlemen. They say that's how you get your algorithms up. I'm trying to get it popping. Boots, Bud, Earl, Charlo, even though he had 154. Who you got when the smoke clears? I think Charlo gave all them guys some trouble. And I think it'll come down to Boots and Charlo. I got to see Boots at 154 before I make that, but 
Boots is the better skilled fighter, though, and Charlo is the meaner fighter, the more determined. So, yikes. I got to see it. I got to see what Boots look like at 54. Melody Taylor versus Boots. Great fucking fight. <laughs> Melody Taylor had the fastest hands I've seen. But you said, you said skills. Shakur got great skills, bro. You think it's over for her? I don't think it's over. I think he just need to clear his mind up on what it is exactly he want to do in the ring. He looked confused at times. Rashidi Ellis. I think Rashidi Ellis should fight at one for matter of fact, Rashidi Ellis, Keith Thurman. Let's get it. I'm starting to feel like they might be doing boots the same way they did Bubo. So good, nobody will fight them. Thoughts? <sighs> that's 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 a tough case to put on him because I don't want to jinx him, but I kind of feel the same way. Boots is a tough pill, and you damn if you do, you damn if you don't with boots. It's crazy. Why is it harder to teach defense to fighters versus offense? Because most guys want to just put their hands on you. They don't want to think about getting hit. So a lot of people can't compose themselves enough to calm down and want to catch some shots, roll some shots. They don't believe they can do it. They just want to hit you. That's why. It's better to be on offense. When you're playing football, is it better to be on defense or offense? The guys like to be on offense. When you're playing basketball, you want the ball on your hand or you want to defend somebody? So it's offense is always better to guys. That's why they don't be real receptive to the defensive drills and shit like that. But if you can get a fighter to listen and pick up what you're trying to teach them about defense, you can get you a great fighter. Boots too much of a natural star. Boots versus Shakur, who wins? He's too big. What does that mean? He'll be undisputed champion at 147.54. In about seven to eight fights, no one will be able to avoid him. Who's your favorite fighter? My favorite fighter now or all time? Big Bang knocking out Joyce again. Big Bang a beast. I ain't gonna lie. He just gotta get better condition. He's marketable and gets bit the big KOs. Solid list. But I think Roy Jones got more skill than Bernard. Bernard for Roy Jones, solid top five. Roy Jones was just talented, super talented, though. Skills, yes. Did he have skills? Yes, he did. But super talented. That's why I didn't say Roy Jones, because remember you said, take the talent out of it. Who's your favorite fighter in each division? Yikes. 118, 118 I like NUA. 118. 122, cool boy. 126 is now Ray Vargas. I like Ray Vargas. 130. It's a lot of fighters at 130 I like. My favorite at 130. Favorite fighter at 130. Ah, I don't know. 130 is in the air. 35, Tank Davis. 140. Richard Hitchison, 147, Terrence Crawford, 154, Jamel Charlo, 160, Jana Beck, 168, Caleb Plant, 175, Arthur Better BF, Cruiserweight, Open, Heavyweight, Tyson Fury. That's the best I can do. Roy, more natural talent than B. Hop, not more skilled. Favorite fighter now? Terrence Crawford. Roy Jones, not more skilled than Bernard. Got Dev 8 4 this weekend. I think the fight will be one on the scale. One cutting weight, one not. Mm. Nah, Roy was talent. I agree about Boots. Nobody want to fight him. I don't see nobody touching him. He going to take over the face of boxing. Remember your boy A.J. Lewis said this. Sweet Peas 
consideration for most skill. Sweet Pea is one of my favorite fighters of all time. If Thurman can get back to his roots, I think he's dangerous for Spence. Thurman has new has new angles that he learned fighting pack and he knows and he knows how flat footed Spence is. Watch watch the Barrios fight again. That's not true. His pops turned down the fight. Turned down what fight? He has a pedigree will definitely run fifty four, potentially sixty. He'll be too much of a casual attraction after he keeps brutalizing the kid for punishment. People can't deny deny art. When training a fighter, who traits do you look for? What traits do you look for? When training a fighter, oh man, I look for all types of shit. I I wanna see if he impatient. I wanna see if he if he focused. I wanna see if he if he got heart. I want to see if he offensive or if he defensive. Then I know how to go about it. If he's timid, that's a lot of shit I look for. Oh, man. What do you think Cool Boy Ceiling is? I think Cool Boy Ceiling is at 135. How you feel about Jerry Anderson? I love Jerry Anderson. Crawford or Boots, Greg? 50-50 fight. Crawford and Boots, 50-50. Then you see Canelo undisputed at 168, but you pick Plant. I agree, Canelo Cook. It's not no. It's not that I don't like Canelo. I like I like Canelo. I just he asked well who was my favorite at each weight class. I just like Caleb Plant. I like his style. I like what he do. That's all. But I respect David Benavidez. I respect uh, Canelo for sure. What's the best moment you had in the gym? Training my sons. But is that dude, people sleeping on him. Based on what? Let's see. Boots got dudes wanting to leave the division versus fighting him, bro. That Caleb Plant analysis spot on. All the missing is that confidence to do with the full 12. Real shit. That's how I feel. We used to have people do the same thing. David Morrell, my favorite, on 68 slightly over Ben Vidas. Boots is LeBron James. He chosen. I've been saying it since 2020. People forget everybody was saying future Hall of Famer when Andre hit the scene and see what happened. How was Andy Cruz looking at? I ain't get to see Andy Cruz in person. Fantasy fight Hagler versus Bud at 52. Ooh, way. Hagler might be too strong for Bud. I don't know. I would Derek James train Ryan. I don't know. I hope Ryan listen. Tank versus Cool Boy. Rumble. But Cool Boy gotta be careful. Tank's very powerful. Can Boots have the fights first before we crown him? The GOAT, goddamn. That's true. Let the man fight. When we gonna see another Olympic Street fight again? I don't know. I be trying to chill. I don't be trying to fuck my hands up. That last joint I had, that last joint I had fucked my knuckles up. That was an Olympic qualifying draw. I fucked my knuckles up. Crazy. Andy Cruz part of Bozy Stable now. Yeah. Andy Cruz up there for sure. I appreciate y'all. I really do, bro. I fucks with y'all for tapping in. I think Boots is going to be undisputed at 147. I think 54 is where he's going to get all the big fights, the big money. I think he's going to win the undisputed at 54. And I think 60 is where he's going to run into some trouble. Not saying he's going to lose, but I think that's where he's going to run into some trouble. I be trying to chill, too. Real shit. Hey, give some respect to my man, Jay. He ripping them off tonight. The people shout. I appreciate y'all. Get them likes up. Get them likes up. What's good? Pitbull versus Shakur. Great fight. Jay Shooter, man got to do what a man got to do, bro. When the next Boots fight. I think Boots fighting in June. Get the likes up. Make them like me. Force them to like me. <laughs> Haney by split decision. I kind of see it the same way. That Jabril and Andy Cruz sparring will be good work for both. Yeah, I think so too. It's definitely going to happen. Blessings, blessings. Raymond Willis was popping. 
I appreciate y'all. Thanks for tapping in. Everybody that sent the donation, I appreciate y'all. Everybody that's tapped in, everybody that liked the joint, I appreciate y'all. I fucked with y'all. Thank you. Where the fuck would I be without y'all? Even though I don't even know half of you motherfuckers. But where the fuck would I be? <laughs> in the gym. Trapping. Who you think Jamal should fight? Coming back. He said he want Bubo. Let's make it happen. Think Haney and Shakur have stopped Ryan? It's possible. Say G, start jumping on a lot more, fam. When you had time, I'm definitely going to tune in. I appreciate that. What's happening, GH? New Orleans in the building. Y'all know I fuck with New Orleans. I just had a, uh, 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 it was just a gang of young boys up here from New Orleans, man. It was all cool as shit. Some good fighters, too. New Orleans, y'all got some dogs coming. He said he going straight into a big fight. Yeah. No phenom level fighters at 60. At the 160 fights will be technical displays with no punishment or TKOs. He'll get undisputed at 162. I don't see any roadblocks at all or potential threats. I'm going to keep it real. Y'all know who I think Boots rival going to be? I'm going to keep it real right now. I never told nobody this. But I think Boots' rival is going to be Trayvon Marshall. Real shit. That's some real shit. I think Trayvon Marshall is going to be Boots' rival. If he may be, if he may be long mother, he got the best. Yeah, he do. Where we send the donations. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to do this shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I just see the shit pop up on my joint, people. But I got my cash up up there. Greggy Cash. G-R-E-G-I-E. Cash. C-A-S-H. I appreciate y'all. But this, I don't even know how this YouTube shit work, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm just on this joint. And I see people send a couple dollars in there. I appreciate y'all. Really rooting for you and YSM. Philly all day. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate the love. I really do. Thomas Gavin, I appreciate that. Do you think Tank and Gary Russell would be would still be worth? Hell yeah! They had the build up in that fight. What? The build up in that fight? Crazy. I think it's because they might try to take them belts from Dev. I mean, it's Devin last fight at top rank. We gonna see. And that's new name Alpo. Oh man, y'all did him dirty. Boxer need to make the big event a new thing. Doesn't matter about the oh real shit. New Orleans got the best food. Chicago second. We gonna come see. I, I think I'm gonna get down to New Orleans this year. Virgil Ortiz versus Stanley Onis. Who you got? Virgil Ortiz and Stanley Onis is a 50-50 fight. I definitely talked about that fight before. That's definitely a 50-50 fight. Any man can get it in that fight. Anybody talking commentary deals yet? Get GH on TV. Not yet, but we gonna get it popping. Much love. What's the way to, to a woman's heart? The way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. And not with food. <laughs> What's good, Greg, man? I really respect and appreciate your knowledge on boxing. William Dyson, I appreciate that, bro. Trayvon the dog, I for sure. I agree. Never saw a martial fight. Mendoza. Who should he fight next? Mendoza, who you talking about? What about... Antoine move up. If Antoine move up, that'd be a good one too. I just think Antoine naturally too small right now. Hit the super chat button or the cash app. Appreciate the love. Xander and Boots, that's a good one. Trayvon got a good fight coming up. Yeah, Trayvon a beast. I like Trayvon. What's good, GH? You should go live Saturday during the fight. Live character. What you think about that if you're available? Yeah, I think I can do that. I can make that happen for y'all. Abdullah Mason is a monster and making very fundamentally sound and dangerous. Yeah, I like Abdullah Mason. He's real dangerous. Real dangerous. And he know what he want. It's never a shortage of fighters coming through boost. It ain't the first time to fight her. It won't be the last. Can Lomo nullify Haney's jab like JoJo did? It's possible. We see how he act when we get in there. When Tank beat Gary Russell, all guys will say Tank 
be at 136. You know how it go. You know how it goes, yeah. Love from Philly. I want you to train me how much for your sessions. Hit me in the DM, Carl. GA, uh, 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 Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram. Hit me up. You ever plan on working on the boxing broadcasting? Yeah, we're going to get it popping one day. We need Gary Antoine to move up for that rematch with Boots. Subriel Matias versus Shojan Ergashev. Might happen. Who you got? Ergashev, Ergashev. Y'all got to remind me who that is. Do you watch the women throw down? Yeah, I watch women's boxing. Carissa Shaw is my favorite for sure, of course. I like Bum Gardner. I like, um, man, I like the girl that Carissa about to fight. Uh, what's that girl name, man? 60 mentally miles ahead of the point. Just in case it was thinking, cheating him, being technically going to. Yo, these joints coming in. Devin playing it smart, saying he wants to stay at top rank before the fight. Just in case they was thinking of cheating. <laughs> Being that he technically want to be a free agent. Hitches versus Gary Russell. Fire. I like that fight. Richard Hitchison versus Montana Love. Who you taking? I got Richard Hitchison for sure. Is Villa next for Boots? I see Villa training hard on IJ. I think he is. OG, what's your record? You talking about my boxing record? What's your records? T, we get it, bro. You like boots. Greg, I want to come train. How do I go about, about it? I'm living in Philly. I told you. Hit me up on Instagram, Greg Hacker 86 Hit me in the DM. I send you all the information. It will not be a close fight for Xander. Xander and Boots. I, I just like Xander's size. I like what he do. Xander has no defense. What's good, Greg? What's your thoughts on Shushu? I like Shushu. Shushu's a, I think Shushu one of the best boxers coming up. For sure. Sharp. I don't think he a big puncher, but very sharp. Very instinctive. Jamal Andre, 168. Could it be? And who you got, G? I got... I, I think that's just going to be a great fight. I can't pick one out of Jamal... And Boo Boo Andre, I think it's a great fight. Your narration on those fight videos be funny as hell. Appreciate that. You think Lomo can hurt Haney? Yeah, any man can be hurt. What's the gram, Greg? My gram is Greg Hackett 86. Follow women's boxing. Who you like this weekend? Taylor and Cameroon. I, I, it's hard to go against Teddy, Katie Taylor. I ain't going to lie. It's hard to against, go, go against Katie Taylor. Hannah Gabriels, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I like her too. G going off looks. No, I ain't going off looks. I, I like what they do. <laughs> What's cracking, Hack Man? What's popping? I beat the horn a couple weeks ago when I saw you. I know you don't know. You don't know me, but I still love. Man, listen, if you ever see me in the street, man, pull over, show love. You know what I mean, I'm I'm always down to show love. I ain't, you know what I mean? Love don't cost shit. And I appreciate that, bro. I really do. Can't wait for it when Jaha Tucker was Xander gets made. Crazy scrap. Yeah, Jaha Tucker and Xander, good joint. Carissa's so damn fine. She a beast, bro. I'm guarding down in Miami acting up on the yacht. Oh shit. Salute, Coach Greg. Finally caught you live. I truly respect your love, dedication, and commitment to the sport of box. Appreciate you. Your commentary on fighters always on point. I appreciate that, bro. One was going to stop Devin's heart in the third round. Damn. <laughs> Y'all think he's going to get him in the third? Haney got a knockout loan. More conversation is about Boots. Hey, yo. Chris Shields. Teach his own, I guess. My God. My God, a bullfrog. <laughs> What's popping? Used to go to school with Shushu. Shushu Sharp, bro. Boxing and street fights. In, in boxing, my pro record is three wins, 22 losses, and one draw. Real shit, but not real shit. In the streets, my record like two, my record like 219 and five. 
with like 187 knockouts. <laughs> yeah, her chocolate self. Amy Hart is bad and will stop me. Damn, why you going at his heart like that? Hit the like button, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. They fucking the like button up. I like that. Showing love. Do you believe Haney got to knock, got to knock him out the window? I don't think he got to knock him out the window. I think he just got to win convincingly. Subiru Matias is a monster. Nobody to play with. If you if you if you fuck with him, you gotta have your hard hat on. No other option for Haney. Split decision or unanimous victory. Not enough for brutal knockout. Is the only way to tank. You think he beat the world based off nothing? He. He didn't even look good in his last fight being objective. Tim Zhu versus Jesus Ramos. Who you got? I think Tim Zhu going to win it smart. I like Jesus Ramos. I put 5K on Lomo. Damn. Good luck. I don't like seeing people lose money. I need Bumgarner. Charlo will duck Tim Zhu. Shout out to Miami Heat being in the seas right now. And the Celtics. Haney versus Roley. Who you want to see Jerron in this fight next? I want to see Jerron in this in fucking in, in fucking uh Romaine Villa. I think that's gonna be a great fight. What if Lomo wins G Money? Where does lightweight division go? Lomo the man. Who you got between Haney and Regis at 140? Haney and Regis will be a great fight. But like I said, Regis, Regis got this thing where he get tired after seven rounds. I don't like that about him. Nah, Haney gonna probably get dropped on the knife. Just outboxing. I don't think I don't think either one of them gonna knock the other one out. I think somebody just gotta win. Haney went to the hospital after the last fight for his heart. Damn. Classic record. We will we lose. We'll kill him. Haney, hey, you sick of me. Y'all fans are crazy. I got Haney on a master class. Tim Zhu will probably be the next star in boxing. Do you think Tank could beat Regis? That'd be a great fight. I can't say he'll beat him, but that'd be a great fight. Watch Andy Cruz train. Not yet. I ain't seen him in person yet. Pro great stretch of Super L. Matias. I hate not going to work. Is the Haney Lomo fight sold out? I don't know. Haney all day. Who you got? Standing on us or Virgil? 50 50. Is Gary Russell the best at 140? He one of them. I can't say he's the best, but he one of them. You think Ryan can go up to 47? I think he will. I think Ryan can go up to 54. But Devin is too good on the outside and too fast for Regis. Cool Boy Stephen, anyway, your analysis. Cool Boy Stephen, anyway, is going to surprise a lot of people. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to make a video on that, too. I got a video on that. Yep, sold out. G, what's your thoughts on Ben Rodriguez? Ben Rodriguez can fight, but he got to move his head. Yeah, I don't like his defense. Gary Russell going quit. Going quiet last few months. I'd like to see Boots versus Thurman. Unfortunately, Thurman probably wouldn't take it. Real shit. Lomo ain't no cambosis. Boxing math don't work either. I think the toughest is Shakur. Sold out. Tank got to fight. The winner, Haney and Lomo. I feel the same way, but I think they're gonna give him the Shakur. Subriel Matias is a real killer, real shit. When is Boos fighting again? I think Boos gonna fight end of June. Let's see, Canelo did 20 million viewers last fight. Yeah, Canelo, I mean you gotta remember Canelo, the king of Mexico. Gotta remember that. King of fucking Mexico. What's the deal? What's popping? We've been on this joint, man. Shout out to everybody that showed love, man. Shout out to everybody that dropped a donation. You know what I mean? If you don't know how to donate on here, you can donate to my cash app, Greggy Cash. G-R-E-G-I-E Cash. C-A-S-H. I appreciate you all. You know what I mean? Let's get it popping. Spence, I still hurt. Retinas are delicate. No, nah, Spence, good. I'd like to see Stanley on this and Boots, good. That's a great fight. Bam, slightly overrated. Oh, I haven't seen Bam perform like that since. Quincy Hearts, what's up, Greg? What's popping? Thanks for the information on the rent. I don't subscribe for the love. No love for A hey, man. I don't want to cause nobody no type of you know what I mean, but you gotta leave me alone. You know what I mean? I'll be leaving people alone. I'll be chilling, bro. I don't be fucking with nobody. So when people, you know what I mean, take it somewhere with me, it get crazy. I like Oshaki Oshaki Foster. Beautiful jab, good boxing ability. 
We just got to see him in a better fight. Ray Vargas was a great test for him, though, for sure. I, I don't hate Haney. I just hate his fans. They be gassing him up based off a jab. Not only did he, he say, not only that he disrespect Lomo too easy, like he a scrub. Lomo wins, put some respect on his name. Real shit, they gonna have to. When is Bud versus Spence going down? I don't know. Greg Hackett is the new voice of boxing. <laughs> YSM Sports Media. I appreciate you, Mill. My guy. Thanks for the donation. <laughs> I don't know how this shit work, but, you know, appreciate y'all, man. Lomo should retire after this win. <laughs> Valdez versus Vaquero is next. Valdez? Which Valdez? I thought Valdez was fighting Lopez. Yo, boy. Keep your foot on that ass. Right at two here. Sweet thing. Keep carrying the city. Logan slash Nice Town. We with home team. Appreciate that, bro. Watch money. I appreciate the love. What about Mendoza? I think he could give. Charlo Trouble. Mendoza. Everybody keep talking about Mendoza. I ain't seen that guy. I gotta watch. Oh, you talking about the one that beat? Yeah, hell yeah. He tough as shit. He tough as shit. Anyway anyway versus Shakur. Skill-wise, who? Yo, anyway, listen. This is no hate. Anyway can fight, but it's a lot of shit he hasn't seen. Y'all got to be careful with anyway because he been having his way with these smaller guys and these older gentlemen. When he getting there with these young dogs, y'all going to see what's popping. Cool Boy is going to be a rude awakening for him. Hit the like button, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Spencer Butt ever fighting. I hope they do. How you feel about the boy Hector Garcia? Tank I think Hector good at 130. He should never came up at 35, but of course for the money, you're going to do it. Haney can do it all. It's not his fault. My pass check the one page. Motherfuckers can't box. It is what it is. Mr. Bullfrog is my guy. What's popping? Appreciate you. He going to beat Adam Lopez. Logan is in the building, for sure. Broadcast and y'all talking about. We all talking about. Tank want to fight anyway. Tank a kill anyway. Yeah, good love, fam. Love the knowledge and information. I appreciate that. Brother Daniels, appreciate that. Earl Spencer, Tim Zhu. That's a great fight. Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu's strong, man. He basic, but he's strong. Back in 2015, they exposed me. Yes. Oh, never mind. Yeah, back in. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Shakur. What's up, Greg? Salute from California. Tapping in. Appreciate y'all. Y'all know I fuck with Kali. Steph going ice you. Are you going live during the fight? I think I am, man. Somebody asked me earlier to go live during the fight. I think I'm going to do that for y'all. Cool boy going to break him, break his will early. Floyd versus Bud. What you think? Floyd and Bud would have been a great fucking fight. I would have loved to see that fight. Cruz versus Shakur. How you got that playing out? Cruz and Shakur? Isaac Cruz or... or, or, or uh, what y'all talking about? What's the name that just came over? I'm going to fight Munguia next. He fighting Munguia next? He better not. If he do that, though, I understand why he doing that. Name of the gym I coach has Philly Boxing 101. Came to the bull from Connecticut that won over Sparrow. Oh, I don't know. I ain't see what's up. I know you talking about. Tall boy. What you think about Bob Aram saying he would not, he's not willing to gamble money on matching top ranked guys with Tank? Yeah, he keeping it real. I think it's fucked up, but he keeping it real. 50 50, our favorite big dude. Just feels not more. About to roll up and talk this boxing. Yes, sir. This boxing still ran by the mob. Ah, different kinds of mobs, I guess. Cool boy, so versatile. He's going to surprise a lot of people versus anyway. Andy Cruz. So Andy Cruz and Shakur, I don't know. I got to see what Andy Cruz, Andy Cruz look like in the pros. When we tried to talk like that about Robisi, he lost his debut. You got to start going live more, bro. We need the content. Appreciate that. Do so you think Joe Joyce will retain his mystique? That's why he lost his aim. I think I think Zayn cracked that shell, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Related to Jalo Hackett, that's my little cousin. 
Who the next face of boxing? Keyshawn versus Frank Martin, what you think? Keyshawn and Frank Martin, great fight. I told y'all I got a video coming. Up. I got, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a thorough breakdown of that. I'm going to give that to y'all within the next week. It ain't going to be no later than next week. I'm going to give y'all Keyshawn. I'm going to give y'all Keyshawn and um, Frank Martin. I swear. That's going to be a great fight. Boxers you think would give Tank. Boxers you think would give Tank problems. I think I think Devin Haney and Shakur give Tank problems. I don't think I don't know if they would win, but I think they'll give him trouble for sure. Jaime Munguia versus Carlos Adames. That's a great fight. That's a great fight. Munguia's learning. Munguia's learning. He's getting, slowly getting better. Adames is very awkward and can punch. That's a great fight. So does that mean Bob Aaron would never let Shakur fight Devin Tank? Yeah, he gonna have to. Cool Boy versus Tank. Who you got? Cool Boy versus Tank. Tank too big of a puncher right now. Well, BC look incredible. That's now. Salute, Jay. Keep dropping all the great boxing knowledge, my guy. I've learned a lot from listening to your perspective, and we think a lot alike when it comes to this. I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate the donation, Dion. I really do. Appreciate the love, y'all. I don't know how this shit work. I don't know how I'm going to get my money, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Real shit. Canelo versus Benavidez. Who wins? I think Benavidez got him right now. You said y'all little heck it, your cousin. That's my little cousin. I think Frank Martin edges Keyshawn. Usyk is the next face. We need that. Is Boots a better fighter than Shakur today? It's tough to say. How you think Floyd Manny would have stacked up against the big three, Leonard Hearns and Durant? That would have been crazy. That would have been crazy, bro. Salute the channel, by the way. Appreciate that, DW. What you think about Morel? I like Morel, but I think Morel is hyped up. But I like him. I'm not saying I don't think he can fight. I think he can fight very well. But we got to see him in there with some nasty guys before we really say he the guy. Fannin says Haney gets KO. What are your thoughts? I don't think Haney gets KO. I think this fight goes the distance. I think Dev won't stop no more. I'm telling y'all. Need a banner with your cash app, Brody. My cash app is Greggy Cash, G R E G I E Cash, C A S H. I don't know how to. When you say banner, what what I'm supposed to do with the banner? Y'all gotta teach me while I'm on here, bro. I'm learning. I'm 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 becoming computer savvy. I don't have it just yet. How you feel about Philly firing Doc Rivers? Doc Rivers, I don't know. He ran his course. You know how Philly is. You fuck up, you getting out of here. Charlo versus Canelo, who you got? Hey, that's a great fight. That's a great fight. I don't know. Because, 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 ah, Canelo could, ah, I don't know. They think Dev ain't got no power. I don't know. You got to get hit by him. I think if, I think Dev needs to start walking around just punching motherfuckers in their mouth. Damn, man. Got some dogs at the gym mobile. Had the boost for him. She's fully lit. Philly going to always be lit. Philly crazy. I appreciate y'all. Listen, y'all, I got I to gotta get on the phone, call my old lady and talk some important shit. I appreciate y'all. I really fucking appreciate y'all. I really do. Shout out to everybody that tapped in. Shout out to everybody that hit the like button. Shout out to everybody that fucking sent me some bread, even though I don't even know how to get it. But we're going to see what happened. It might hit the account. It might not. I don't know. It might take my shit. I don't know. We got all this crypto shit going on. But I fucks with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all too, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Listen, get with me. We building slowly. Shout out to my man, Mill YSM Sports Media. Y'all know what's popping. Y'all know what's going on. I'm trying my best to get it going. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. We, 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 we talking real boxing. We talking original boxing. We, we don't want to talk about motherfuckers. You know I mean clothes, we don't want to talk about their bank account, we don't want to talk about their household, we don't want to talk about their women. We just want to talk boxing, baby. And that's what I'm here to do. You know what I'm saying? Your grandmother's favorite, your auntie's asset, your sister's secret. Get with me. I appreciate y'all, man. Nothing but love. Get with me. Hit the like button if you ain't already like my shit. Like my shit. Share my shit. You said you fuck with me, right? I mean, you said you was ready to ride or die, right? Let me know. Get with me, y'all. I fuck with y'all. Thank you. Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram. Greg Hackett 215 on Twitter. Uh, uh, Greg Hackett on Facebook. And um, Greggy Cash on Cash App. G-R-E-G-I-E. Cash C-A-S-H. Appreciate y'all. 
Thank you. Get with me.